Lads and ladies, it is I, Royal Livy, back with another fucking Road to Glory. Great content on the channel lately, and I'm going to put two teams up on the screen here. There's one, there's the other. Study them, breathe them in. And now, let's flash back to my last video for a moment, everyone. The risk here is that they may rest a few of their bigger options, such as Hotta or something. You know, they, they could definitely rotate here. I'm going to be real with you here. I don't think Gaeta is going to be back from injury in time, but uh, he's my only option, so... So he's in. I mean, I've literally predicted what was going to happen, and then when making my lineups, just, uh, you know, decided to do the complete fucking opposite of what I predicted. So, uh, you know, how can I be such a genius in one breath, and then such a colossal fuckwad in the next? I think we'll call that a doing a Royal Livy. I've Royal Livied myself, which does not mean I've shat myself. I've just, just fucked it up. I, I mean, I have shat myself other times, just not this time. You know, it's just quite unfortunate that last week I literally only had Tuesday to set my lineups and do my video right. I was away from Wednesday to Friday, so it is what it is, but, uh, you know, it sucks to look at, so let's be realistic here. What would I have done to my lineups with a bit more research? And uh, I think the two teams get combined and flipped in their entry, so Gaeta swaps for Levakovic and Gazdag swaps for Zorgan, and then All-Star becomes Challenger and vice versa. So in theory, my Challenger lineup would have been Levakovic, Sutalu, Ivanusic, Kuypers as my captain, and Zorgan to round it out. So I'm looking at about 380 points there, which if we check on the Challenger Limited leaderboard, is about 275th place or so, which means I would have won a, a tier three limited card. Um, yeah, okay, well, uh, who gives a fuck then, I guess? I suppose that's how life goes when you Royal Liver yourself, so uh, we'll move on to Cap 240 Rare, where I was 12 points off the threshold, like, uh, Alex Ring, my last player to play, just, uh, you know, well, he decided to miss a header from one yard. One single yard, which, uh, you know, equates to half of two yards or 5% of 20 yards. Maths is a wonderful thing. America Rare then, as I said, no time to research for last game week, and I think on Thursday it was, Kolmanich got ruled out for the season, doing his ACL. Actual crap luck for him, as uh, he never really got his chance last season at Austin, and he'd finally sort of cemented himself as a starter there this season, early doors. So uh, to then do your ACL like that, I mean, yeah, it sucks for the bloke. Sucks for me as well, obviously. So yeah, Kolmanich joins the injury list of players in the account, so that lineup was dead on arrival, despite Stuver's impressive score. But then, cap 220 Red, the piece the resistance or uh, something French like that I don't fucking know basically it was to be my saving grace spare my blushes for the week so to speak and Zian Fleming did Zian Fleming things as Zian Fleming does and I enjoyed it very much uh, you know in, in case you're unaware I think Zian Fleming is decent at soccer Menzo and Net even then saved a penalty and he got an 88 score in a 2-0 yeah. loss which uh, you know all things considered you can't be too upset about for sure so it all came down to Nikola Vlasic who unfortunately was benched, but he did come on in the first half at least, so uh, you know, there's chances there to get decisive. He, he had the game time and uh, the man just didn't do it. His effectiveness was very minimal, no decisives, so no party. But you see, I'm not gonna add Vlasic to the shit list just yet because let's check the leaderboard out. As you can see, the individual in third place is myself, AKA Royal Levy, AKA the guy you're watching right now. And I had 367 points. So let's just say we lived in an alternate universe where Vlasic bagged a decisive, right? You know, that would, uh, that would be an extra 25 points on his score, which would have taken me to 392 points. As you can see, my amigo at the top of the leaderboard, El Loco, had 402 points. And uh, I've got a math guy with me here today. Which number is higher, 392 or 402? Me, um, uh, well, yeah, I guess I would say 402 is the bigger number. Well, there you go. Turns out I wouldn't have come top anyway, as 402 is in fact bigger than 392, so no drama there. A tier two was always going to be the result. So, uh, you know, Vlasic, pay $200 to pass go, because you've got a get out of jail free card here today, you fucking bitch. Now, I'm sure he is a lovely individual and didn't set out to sabotage me on purpose, but okay, here is my gift box for the game week. No live reaction for this one, because, uh, you know, fuck it, just couldn't be asked. But look at this for a tier two card. Your boy, Royal Livy, aka the guy you're watching right now, got Nicholas Ladero. And my first thought initially here was, what? This guy is, is a tier two now? I remember back in the day, the good old days, where this fella was worth like, uh, well, he was worth a lot more, I'm pretty sure. He was either a star MLS card or a top tier end one card. Top tier end one, top tier one end, top end tier one. That's the words I'm looking for. Maybe his advancing age has affected, uh, you know, his, 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 his placement on the tier list. But I'll tell you what, it's not affected. His scores. Because I'm looking at them right now and they are still banging, leaving him at a current market price of about 0.2 Ethereum. So, uh, hey, no complaints from me at all. I imagine some tier 
one currency worth less than that so i think we are placing this award in the dub category and obviously i'm also like super ageist right you see 33 years old and it's not what you want for the long-term vision of the account so nadira has already been banished to the server never realm for 0.2 ethereum a decent reward for sure I have to say cat 220 definitely looks to be the best value for money tournament to enter especially for uh, newer managers who perhaps have a tighter budget like uh, i've had my guy run the maths and this team that just won that 0.2 ethereum reward is currently worth 0.25 ethereum so that's an 80 percent roi on my team uh, in only one game week as well so uh, obviously you're not going to podium every week right but uh i mean you can't argue with the numbers from that return on one week uh, especially on these cards so they're, they're not fantastic cards obviously fleming's goaded but the rest of them are a bit hit and miss so uh, you know it's a good roi and uh, yeah let's see what some of these fuckers can do in my weekend teams wow a cap 240 rare mill stack so unique and cool and oh my god we got a bunch of shit fucks for austin fc and america rare over here that's pretty unique and cool and cap 220 rare this is sensational is that a mix of both mill and austin players truly revolutionary lineups here today on the channel everyone america limited let's fucking hope that mls and fleming tiago amada returns from injury he is my only fucking hope champion europe limited here we go a villarreal and inter milan split i've never done that before on the channel oh my god it's getting crazy today if Lataro Martinez could stop being shit at football, that would resonate well with me. Challenger Europe Limited, like, this is what my life has come to. I have an NFT of Cameron Carter Vickers captaining for me against Motherwell this week, and uh, for fuck's sake, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I've even got this under 23 limited lineup this week. Let's fucking go. Jota, you better fucking come back into the team. I need you now more than ever. And finishing off with Cap 240 Limited, we've got. Uh, oh my god, is that. Is that a brand new player? Holy shit, a, uh, a new card in the account that I'm actually going to use this game week. This is carnage, ladies and gentlemen. Truly crazy stuff today on the channel. I've got a Martin Piss in here, and he's going to do some saves. He's going to do some clean sheets, and we're all going to have a good time. I just have to politely ask that for Gundes, uh, please, for the love of all that is holy, uh, could you stop being dog shit at football and start getting some decisives for me and for Austin? That would be just well. Well, there you go. That's the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye. Love you.